today on Florida Sport Fishing. What a really cool prehistoric looking fish, huh? The visibility up here from this upper station on this bay boat, absolutely incredible, makes such a big difference. Here it comes, look at that, look at that. <laughs> That's the fish we came here for, right here. Yeah, that's a fatty. That's the fish we that's came here for. That's gonna make a couple of my sandwiches. That is so awesome. <laughs> ho ho, what on? CV Boats presents Florida Sport Fishing. Television for the avid angler. Powered by Mercury Marine. Oh yeah. Got one on, got one on. Oh. There's a sailfish, already got a bite. Ridiculous. Another one on, another one on. <laughs> That's what it's all about right there. Nice jump! Oh, look at that, look at that. Florida Sport Fishing TV proudly endorses and utilizes Ghost, the global leader in boat security, monitoring, tracking, and surveillance. Frigid Rigid, from 35 to 300 quarts, the finest coolers and freezers on the water. VMC hooks, tired of missed strikes? Fish the hooks the pros fish. Fish VMC. Motor Guide, the most dependable trolling motors on the water. Bio Green Clean, the first and only eco-friendly, heavy-duty, multi-surface cleaner that actually works. It's got a little spunk in it. I'm Captain Mike, and you're watching Florida Sport Fishing TV. We've got Captain Carlos on board. How's it going, guys? We're fishing CV's 270Z Bay Boat. We came down to the Everglades, launched from Flamingo, ran out here to Florida Bay. We're fishing all of these crab trap buoys for triple tail. Really cool sight fishing. Awesome. You know? awesome. Just an absolute awesome venue. You come out here, you fish all of these different crab trap buoys, you run up the line, and you just look for these triple tail laying up on the surface. They'll lay on their side and really kind of just blend in, you know, with that buoy and with the line. They're Camo just, cruisers, yeah, buddy. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. They're just waiting for little shrimp and crustaceans to swim by, and then they just dart out and grab them. You know, these fish will average really two to five pounds down here, but it's not uncommon to come across one that might be eight to 10 pounds. So you just got to stick with it, keep fishing all of the buoys. Let's get this one off the hook here take a closer look at this thing. They are thick fish oh, too, man. Awesome Very healthy. Looking, dude. Even the small ones, yeah. they, they got some girth to them. I mean, look at that. Look how thick he is right there. You know, broad shoulders. It's obvious how they got their name. Yeah. You know, that's for the sure. The anal and the dorsal fin pushed back. It look looks at like that. it's got three tails. I mean, yeah. really, really cool. Prehistoric looking predator. Little teeth in there. Nothing major, but they're sharp because they're designed to eat shrimp and crabs. Little VMC 2.0 circle hook. They'll eat little minnows and baits too. Yeah, you know, whatever, whatever they can get a hold of. <laughs> cool fish, huh? Yep. I'll tell you, there it is, right there. Florida Bay triple tail. Just looking at it, you ate it. You only had three shots at that one, pal. Good job, good job. Unbelievable. <laughs> hey, you got him, that's all that matters. He was Light an fishing, aggressive triple tail and hungry Florida fish, Bay, baby. Dude. He ate three shrimp, yeah, three shrimp. Dude, they're strong little buggers, aren't they? They're awesome. On Lake Taco, this is one cool. of the funnest fish to catch. 10 pound diamond braid, 20 pound diamond presentation, fluorocarbon, and a 2.0 VMC circle. A little that's light all wire. You need. Yep. You know, like you said, that light wire circle hook is really important. It Absolutely. penetrates that mouth real easy. Well, and it allows the bait to look more natural too. You put a heavier hook on there, it's gonna sink too quick. Absolutely. So, get them in. Pretty fish. Saltwater crappie with three tails. <laughs> so cool. We haven't seen them jump too much today, but these things can go aerial just like tarpon. Crazy. Mercury engine tap. Toughness you can rely on. It's good to have Mercury behind you. It's your turn to score big. Book a long range adventure aboard the legendary Yankee Captains. 
Tilefish Virgin Waters more than 100 miles offshore for exotic queen snapper, trophy tilefish, monster grouper, and more. With a lifetime of experience, let Captain Greg Mercurio and his dedicated crew put you on a hot bite. Fish around the clock or just relax. With full galley and huge fish boxes, all you'll need to bring is your appetite for action. Now sailing from Key West year-round. What if navigating was as simple as touch and go? It is that simple. The world's first multi-touch MMT chart plotter, Navnet TZ Touch. Latest 115 horsepower in its class. It's good to have Mercury behind you. Here it comes. Look at look at him. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> oh Come on. Come on, man. He's still there. He's still there, dude. Come he's on. He's still there. We're definitely going to get a second shot. That should be all over. Come oh, on. He's looking at it. He's, here he comes. Here he comes. He ate it. He ate it. He ate it. <laughs> God. Nice. Where do you Scrappy think you're going? Little Come fellas, on, where huh? do you think you're going? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> hey guys, if you're just joining us, we're here in Florida Bay, outside of Flamingo, fishing these crab trap buoys for the triple tail. Just a lot of fun on light 10 pound spinning gear, just sight fishing for these triple tail on the buoys, just throwing shrimp at them. I mean, it really is just a great change of pace. You know, everybody's so focused on fishing for the redfish and the trout and snook inside, and certainly that's a heck of a lot of fun, but this is as well. Look at this. You know, look at that, dude. Pull and drag, jumping like tarpon. <laughs> I mean, come on. I don't know Sight if that's fishing. jumping like tarpon, but. Dude, they <laughs> jump like tarpon. I've seen them launch six feet out of the water. Four to six feet out of the water, no problem. <laughs> You see a triple tail jump six feet out of the water? Absolutely. <laughs> That's some good Gatorade you're drinking, dude. It's special. Yeah, most of these smaller ones are males. You know, the big ones are the females, and you'll see them spawning, you know, usually June through August. Nice one, dude. Get him unhooked. We'll see if we can find another one. Hey, stick around, guys. Check out our rigging station. Going to talk to you in detail about the tackle that we're fishing here today, and we're going to go see if we can find a couple more. Rigging Station, presented by Diamond Fishing Products, the finest monofilament, fluorocarbon, and braided fishing line in the world. Hey guys, welcome to this episode's Rigging Station. I hope you're having as much fun watching this episode as we are filming it. We're out here in the Everglades. We launched down in Flamingo, ran out to Florida Bay to fish for triple tail on the buoys. And I wanted to just talk to you a little bit more about the tackle that we're fishing. Six and a half foot chaos rod rated for six to 15 pound line little Daiwa size 3000 spinning reel loaded with 10 pound diamond braid. Really, really sensitive stuff. From there, we've just doubled up the end of the line. We've got a four foot section of 20 pound diamond presentation fluorocarbon. Finished the deal with a small 2.0 VMC circle hook onto a live shrimp, and that's all that you need. You certainly can throw jigs at these fish, imitation shrimp at these fish, but nothing beats a live shrimp. They absolutely have a really hard time turning it down. However, what's really important to remember when you're down here fishing the Everglades, when you're fishing Florida Bay, anything could happen. This is such an unbelievable venue and so many different fisheries are available. So in addition to this 10 pound outfit, we also have a 20 pound outfit rigged for tarpon in case we run across any big tarpon. And we also have a 15 pound outfit for redfish, snook, and really with these three rods, we're ready for just about anything that's gonna come our way. 
The key when you're fishing all of these buoys, because there's so many of them, you've got to be selective. So you want to fish the buoys that have a lot of growth. That's what's really going to, you know, separate the good from the bad. Real real, stop. He just turned. Did he eat it? Nope. Oh. Okay, I'll I'm gonna try and get you in a little bit closer. Don't cast yet. Wait. You see him, right? Real, 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 real. Stop. Oh. <laughs> he just ate it. He just ate it. That, that's it. Done. Oh, get him oh. away from that. Get him away. <laughs> oh. <laughs> when you're coming down here to the Everglades and Flamingo, you really have to be ready for everything, you know? You've got to have a variety of tackle, some 10-pound gear, 20-pound gear, even 30-pound gear. This is the mecca of inshore fishing. There's so many different venues. You've got grass flats, mangrove shorelines, current sweat points. Of course, you got these banks out here. Fat again, man. <laughs> Dude, these They're things are healthy. It's a chunk of fish right there. <sighs> Not as big as we'd like them to be, but it's the target species. Look at so the what color. we wanted to do, come down here to Florida Bay and fish these pot markers for the triple tail, and we found them, that's for sure. The award-winning Z Performance line from CV raises the bar. It's not just fast, it's not just fuel efficient. The CVZ is the entire package. It offers the perfect balance, safe, predictable handling during hard turns and at high speed. And most importantly, the Z stays on plane at lower speed so it can comfortably handle anything Mother Nature can dish out. Experience the exhilarating ride of the CVZ. Schedule a sea trial today. When you want to get away from it all, to a place where you can do everything, or nothing at all, surrounded by natural beauty and all the modern amenities you might desire, then you'll want to be here. At the Wanna Be Inn, on the beautiful shores of Minnesota Key, Florida. To plan your escape, log on to wannabein.com. Joey Accardi Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram reminds you that before you can do this, you have to do this. And before you can do that, you're going to need this. Save thousands on every new Ram truck at Joey Accardi in Pompano Beach. Family owned and operated and bringing South Florida our best deals for over 25 years. So before you can do this, do this. And before you can do this, you have to do this. Visit JoeyAccardiCDJR.com. Another one on the jig. That's Grouper Dynamo. Yeah! How's that for a sea monster? Chaos. Gear matters. Shop online or visit our new superstore for everything fishing. Hey guys, welcome back to Florida Sport Fishing TV. Got another triple tail on here. We're just wrecking these things. Unfortunately, not finding any of the bigger ones that we're looking for, but still, hey, you can't always choose the action, size. Man. Constant action. <laughs> That's for sure. They're just stacked up on these buoys here, these crab trap buoys. And like I mentioned earlier, you know, some of these buoys are not all gonna hold the fish. Looks like the ones that have more growth on them are more likely to have a fish laying right up next to it. And they'll put their nose right up there into the current, literally right up against the buoy. The last two looked like they were part of the buoy. They really I did, mean, dude. They literally. looked like they were part yeah. of the line. He definitely ate that bait. That size right there doesn't get any bigger. No. <laughs> he is fat, though. Look at him just laying right there on his side. All right, I'm in neutral right here, dude. That's a big fish, man. Yeah, that's a nice one, dude. That's a big fish. I'm not gonna get you any closer than this. I don't want him to spook. That's a bigger one. Man. Yeah. That's a nice fish. There you go. You can cast right on the left and rip it right by his face. Oh, it's right on his tail. Hold on, I'm gonna get you a little closer. Okay, that's there it. There you go, that's the cast. There you go. Get him? Yeah. Nice. Just take your time, that's a good one. Florida Bay triple tail, nice. 
It's positioning. Dude, it's, it's all, all about patience, you know? Yeah. Sneaking up on them really quietly and stealthily. Just gotta take your time, you know, and not blow it. Which is hard sometimes when you're anxious, that's for sure. Dude, that's the fish we came here for, right here. Yeah, that's a fatty. That's the fish we That's came gonna make here a couple for. nice sandwiches. Oh my god. You want a net for that thing? Yes. All right, yes. hold on. Go get that, please. This is the biggest one I've ever caught. You ready? Locked in. Locked and loaded, head first. Oh, oh, oh it's not ready, not ready. So I Absolutely awesome sight fishing here in Flamingo. We launched in Flamingo, ran out to Florida Bay here to fish all of these crab traps for the triple tail. Woo! Caught dozens, I mean literally dozens, but we haven't been able to find any really chunky ones. This is really the biggest one so far. This so. is the culmination of all the efforts oh, right here. God, this is dude. what it is. How many have we seen? How many have we caught? 20, 30? I mean. <laughs> dozens for sure. But super exciting, you know, anybody can do this. I've said it before, you know, don't think that you've got to be a professional guide to come out here. You know, some light 10 pound outfits, just take your time. 20 pound fluorocarbon, 2-0 circle hook, live shrimp, sneak up on these suckers right up on the buoys. I hope he doesn't wear through it though. Yeah, and that's just say you got to be really careful because they've got super sharp gill plates. You want to bring that one home to mama for dinner? Yes, sir. Oh, I barely got him hooked, man. Whoa. I just saw the hook. There you go, there you go. Get him. Get him. Nice, dude. Get nice. The boat. That's a fatty right there, baby. That my... That's a fatty. <laughs> That's what we're talking about right there. That oh, is yeah. a triple tail and a half right there, man. <sighs> Look at that. Oh, the hook I came out. I told you, don't right lose there. No, I got him. Okay, you got him. Unhook that hook from that net right there. See, look, it, it came through. through him, but it was right through right there. Yeah, it went through him. And that's a nice one right there. That is so awesome. <laughs> Dude, nice so job. Awesome. Look at that powerful triple tail on that. Yeah, you kicked my butt. That's a fish, man. Yeah, and they're thick, you know? Fish nice and, and girthy. I mean, it's it's prehistoric looking. It really is. You know, these things have been around for who knows how long, and that mouth just eats crabs and shrimp. Little fish. We're gonna take a quick break, check out our gear guide, and we'll be back with more triple tail fishing from Florida Bay. Gear Guide, presented by Pelagic Gear, official apparel provider of Florida Sport Fishing TV. Circle hook selection, really important in every venue. Not all circle hooks are created equal, so there's a lot of different factors to consider. Remember that on the Gulf Coast, whenever you're fishing with live or fresh cut bait, inline, non-stainless circle hooks are absolutely mandatory. The same applies when you're over on the East Coast tournament fishing for sailfish. Inline, non-stainless circle hooks are an absolute must. We're getting ready to go triple tail fishing here. I'm looking for the perfect hook, and I'll tell you, for me, it's that BMC 2.0 tournament circle. It's an inline hook, it's not offset, thin gauge, so it's really gonna penetrate that fish's mouth very easily, but it's also very strong, and certainly that's important with every hook. Remember that you've got a lot of different factors that you've gotta consider when looking for the perfect hook. The venue that you're fishing in the region, the species that you're targeting, the bait that you're gonna be using, the gauge of the hook. Remember that those thin gauge hooks are gonna penetrate much easier than a thick gauge hook. However, those thick gauge hooks are certainly a lot stronger than the thin gauge hooks. So it's really a balancing act. But I'll tell you what, if you take all of those factors into consideration, you'll pick the perfect BMC hook to keep you tight all day. It's all about having the right tackle, yep. you know? Obviously, 10 pound braid is the right gear. Little yeah, you chaos, bring a seven foot rod, Absolutely. six and a half, seven foot rod, that's all you need. Little Daiwa size 3000 reel. Those ballistics are awesome, man. Yeah. Smooth drags, a digi gear, flawless. Fat guy right there, look at that. Chunky. Here in Florida, they've gotta be 15 inches to keep. You are allowed two per person per day. We're gonna let this guy go. He's probably right at 15 inches, but we'll let him go. But still, just an absolutely beautiful fish with his fins all flared out like that. It's got like an armor coating with the scales. That little, look at that, that BMC circle hook. Right in the corner of the mouth, every time. 
and they've got really sharp gill rakers right there, like razors. So you really can't fish anything lighter than 20. You could even get away with 30 pound fluorocarbon. But what a cool fish. See you later, pal. Right there, you got it. Real, 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 stop. Here he comes. He ate it. Yep. Yeah, he ate it, he already ate it. Florida Sport Fishing is the number one magazine for the latest tips, tricks, tactics, and techniques. Close to 200 pages, each issue is packed with instructional articles, easy to follow illustrations, and award-winning photography. Only $29.97 for a two-year subscription. For home delivery, visit fsftv.com. Subscribe now and receive a free shirt, unlimited access to our new digital edition, and a special bonus gift. Fortress, the world's best anchors. Stronger, faster, lighter. High-tech aluminum alloy makes Fortress anchors the easiest to handle. Precision machining and sharpening results in the fastest setting anchor. Fortress buries deep for the strongest holding power. With eight models from four to 69 pounds, there's a Fortress anchor for you. Fortress, stronger, faster, lighter. What if navigating was as simple as touch and go? It is that simple. The world's first multi-touch MFD chart plotter, Navnet TZ Touch. Florida Sport Fishing TV proudly endorses and utilizes Boat Outfitters. From replacement parts to hard to find hardware, boat owners and builders turn to BoatOutfitters.com. Salt Life Sport Optics. Ask for them by name and see what you've been missing. Dr. Dan's. From lip balm to sunblock, a complete skincare line designed for life on the water. Tropic Trailer. Florida's largest dealer has the right trailer at the right price. Rugged Shark. Technical footwear designed for boating and fishing enthusiasts. Here he comes. Look at that. Look at that. That's so cool. Listen, we wanted to come down and go triple tail fishing on the buoys. We're triple tail fishing on the buoys, baby. And catching them. They just don't give up. Look at oh. that. On that light gear, man. They just fight like crazy. Whew. Made me sweat over here. All right, let me let him go. Came out and just grabbed yeah, it. Yeah, it was nice. Same size, huh? Yep. Like 15 inches. <laughs> like. <laughs> like 15 inches. Like. You just said it, the keyword was like. 14 and a half. Interesting, these fish, not a lot is really known about triple tail. There's some tagging studies that have been put into place. It appears that they have a north to south migration or a south to north migration. But a lot of the fish that are caught in a particular area tend to stay in that particular area. So there's still a tremendous amount to learn about triple tail and their migration patterns. Some guys believe they head offshore and then come in. So it's really a big mystery to be honest with you. Looks like uh, there might be one right up here. Just go real, real slow. Wind's at us, so we can totally control this. It's a decent one. Yeah. Just laying on the down current side of it right there. The anticipation is crazy just watching them go after the bait. Oh, look at him just turning on his side. Oh, there you go. There you go. Nice. <laughs> nice. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> I told hey, you they that jumped. There's that six foot tarpon Did I jump. tell you they jumped? <laughs> Did he spit it? Yeah, <laughs> like a tarpon. <laughs> Get another one. Oh, did he eat it? Like yep. <laughs> oh. <Whoa>. Nice. <laughs> they jumped, buddy. Oh, it came off. Oh. How did that come off? Did it break it? Come on. Wow. Oh. You think he felt the hook? <laughs> no, off. it just came off. It's all over. We're hunting triple tail. Be quiet. Sneak and go.
up on a triple tail. Get him? Yeah. Nice. He chased that thing way out away from the pot. Sight fish in the buoys. Doesn't get any better. I didn't even feel him hit it. It's just, just such a subtle take, man. He hit it deep, so I didn't see him eat it. He followed it down. Yeah, this is a keeper for sure, Mike. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Look at that. Nice. There you go. Boom, done. Nice. Just like that. Hey, I'll tell you what. Hooked them good though, right? Dude. Yeah. I had a great time fishing flamingo for triple tails. How about you? It was awesome. I mean, we fished hundreds of buoys, caught dozens of fish, mixed size, just a gorgeous fish. You could do this all around the state. The channel markers coming out of nearly any inlet will hold triple tails. Of course, all of the crab trap buoys. And, you know, in the Keys and Southwest Florida. And of course here in Florida Bay, you know, launching out of Flamingo. So many different opportunities down here. Just an absolutely gorgeous venue. You know, in the wildlife alone, the birds, the porpoises, we've seen so much stuff. You're Turtles. in the middle of nature, man. It's you beautiful. really are. Yeah. And then to have an opportunity to catch really cool quality fish like that on the buoys. I mean, that's what we came for right there. Yes, sir. Hey, <laughs> we'll see you next week. To learn more about the tactics and techniques seen on today's show and to subscribe to Florida Sport Fishing Magazine, visit floridasportfishing.com and get hooked up.